the personality brokers by by Merv Emery. So the strange history of Myers Briggs and the birth of personality testing. So I remember doing this in grade ten careers. Yeah, career ten grade ten careers. So part of the year before my school went semestered, you would do half of it careers, half of it civics. Like you would switch to, like you would start off, some would start, some classes would start off with careers and then switch over to civics and some would start off with civics then to careers, but you don't need to know that. But, more, like I think it will be like the same if they were to do it in the semesters, but whatever. You would do this, the Myers-Briggs test and you would see what type of personality you are and I totally forget what mine is and I did it about a year or so ago and I still forget I didn't write it down but I know I'm introverted <laughs> I know mine I know mine is I something so <laughs> I'll try and find a fr like try and find it to see find it out again but on to the book that inspired that testing. So you get an int introduction, chapters within three parts, and then you get a conclusion. So you get basically what led up to the test, like how it was developed and how it was introduced to the rest of the world. And you get the woman who developed the idea and then her daughter expanding on it and introducing it to other people it did have a slow start because obviously a lot of people were skeptical on personality testing what is this what table do I fit in on trying to like, you get a blueprint of the personality paint box, which is like a 4x4, four four, like, a 4x4 four four table of, like, these different personalities. So, you do have that and two or three other images as well, one of them being a photograph of them. So, and... Catherine, yeah, Catherine uh, used Jung's uh, theories to make her own and to develop it into the personality, the start of the personality testing, which her daughter Isabel developed further and again introduced it, like. Catherine and Isabella like introduced it to the people and it didn't kick off until like a little while later. It's kind of a biography, kind of in history of the testing, so you kind of get a biography of the two and then you get like a history lesson of how the testing came to be. So, and you get a few primary quotes, and then you got, like, Isabel's introduction, like, debut to Hay on July 1st, 1943, and bringing it to, and that bringing it to the public, and then... It is about 300 pages long, so it all depends on how in-depth you want to learn about the story behind this testing. You won't get a few pages of the, te like the tests in there to see what personality you are. It doesn't have that. 
you could find it online somewhere to see what kind of personality you are, but it is more of a biography history lesson of the two women and the test. So, The Personality Broker is by Merv Emery. Happy readings.